Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody's trying to clean up this logo that is really pixelized, and here's their copy, and you can kind of see what it did to the letters. And I wasn't going to do a video on it, but it's a little bit different than ones I've done before, so I thought I'd do it. So we've got our logo pick. We're going to go to Mint Map. We're going to resample. It's only 72 dots per inch, and let's look at the difference in what this does to your dots per inch. Look at the size of the pixels. Now let's go to resample and let's turn it to 300 dots per inch. Look at the size of the pixels. See, they're a lot smaller and there is some trash. So we're going to go now. We've got to go to bitmap, convert to bitmap. I'm going to go and use black and white. It's going to turn it black and white. I'm going to go to trace bitmap. Mine's right here. Yours will be down and I use outline trace clip art. It'll ask you to if they can reduce it and, and you say fine even though this is only like four inches long and we've lost some detail so we're going to up our detail a little bit and that p is going to come back then we're going to hit ok now your new copy should always be on top about 99 percent of the time it will be and it doesn't look too bad till you take away the fill with a left click on no fill and a right click on that hairline and you can see all these little bitty knobs nodules and that might be part of your problem and also just a, I've been doing this long enough that I can see the inside parts are thicker they look like double lines so let's take our item let's go up to arrange and ungroup now we're going to take and you can see all the all the nodes now but some of these node nodes might not even be part of the wording so we're going to set our let's see how big this is this thing is only a little bitty it's less than a one inch so we're going to make our nudge distance one inch and we're going to take the inside of that d and move it out of the way look at the trash that is left i call it trash that's going to give you a problem now the word that is typed out more like a text is hard to trace so we're not even going to try it but we can get rid of all this trash by just hitting delete and try not to get rid of that other part got a little bit more and now we've got a lot cleaner it's still got a lot of jigs and in sharp objects and in nodes there's two ways to do that if you have 2008 or above you could use the smooth tool and just real lightly smooth that out trying to do it real lightly where you won't mess up the text but then when you do the letters the interior parts of the letter i'm up here changing my tip size to make it something smaller i'm going to get the inside of that well what i'm going to have to do is go up to range and break the curve apart grab my shape tool and let's look at that see what happens when it does that well evidently there was the trash behind there so this is working now this only works if you have 2008 and above the smoothing tool which i think is one of the neatest tools they've ever invented in corel draw now if you do not have 2008 or above you can use the shape tool select your item select all the nodes and go right here and use your slide bar to about 15 and you can actually type in the word or the text 15. now it might have changed your text up a little bit but it'd be really hard to tell and you still got some nodes you don't want but that's real easy just to select them and hit delete you don't want to select too many of them because we don't want to do that but if you kind of remember what it looks like you can bring that back with this handle so the smoothing tool is your best friend when you're doing something like that because it's going to get it's it's doing exactly what the word says is smoothing tool and it I love it I use it all the time now let's put this back up that one inch so we'll know where it is in the community of the drawing I still think there's a double line there but I might have gotten rid of it and um, let's grab it with the shape tool and see if we just delete something yep it's just one line so we're good so after you smooth all that out, you have to retype this text. 
and I actually kind of look for a text that's kind of close. Now, and it's just because of the C and, and if all the other letters, and it's kind of hard to tell what the letters really look like, if they're rounded or squared. And, and you could search your fonts for something closer. And what we need to do is make this font about this height. So we're going to look and that font is only one, 0.14 tall. So with our ratio locked, we're going to make this 0.14 tall. So it made it more like the size, but we need to spread out these letters. So grab your shape tool and do this kern right here and just spread them out. I missed a, I missed a letter. So let me put it back when I typed it. So you can take your text tool and type in that I. So now we can take our shape tool and we can turn this and see if the letters don't really kind of match up. Now, like I said earlier, the only letter that I can see that's really different, and the O is a little bit different, so you can pick a font. But if you've got all the letters picked, except for one just doesn't work, you can change that one. Make that one look like this. So let's do this. Let's go up and break it apart. Get just that one letter. Let's left click, right click, just so we can see it. You can take two lines and do this to make that C be more open. And then you would use our friend, the Smart Fill tool, to fill that in. Nudge it over. Get, sorry about that. Get rid of this C totally. Get rid of my lines. Go to where we nudge this and nudge this back. Now, I didn't do a very good job, but it looks more like that C than the previous C. So you can change a few things. You know, the, the eyes look like they're rounded, so you might want to really pick a font because these are so small, you really can't clean that up. I mean, without really distorting it. Because if you use the smooth tool on this, you're going to, there's so many nodes, so I would probably take this shape tool and try to delete some of these nodes. But that would be another scenario. Anyway, I hope that helped those people a little bit. And thank you for watching. All you'd have to do is just keep doing the, the smoothing tool. And you can change, like I've got my rate, in which the speed is going to happen that it's going to, you need to check on the item and see I'm going pretty, just a little bit because you don't want to go too much because if you go too fast, you're going to change the shape of your, of your logo. And that's what you're trying to get away from. But uh, let me just set this on a higher number and just show you on this one. Click on the item, look how fast it did it. So you can really mess up. So the slower the number, and then you can kind of move your hand around. 11 or 10 is good. And let's just do this real quick. As little bit as I clean this up, look at my D. Let's make it a little bigger compared to their D on the one they tried to clean up. They didn't do bad. It's really the center parts that they did. And if you ever get to that point, let's do this part right here. You can left click, right click, and you can clean that up. And actually, now that I see this, there's a double line right there. Let's hit delete. Let's go back, go to break curve apart. There's two lines. I can see them. Well, if you look at this line, you know what? That's not even a line. It's just a white field. So that's another thing you need to think of when you're doing this logo. Fill it in with yellow, put it to the back of the page, and you can see that's a white fill. That's not part of the letter. The way to get around that would be to color fill that, move it out of the way, and take all this away. Delete all this, and then move it back. That's why I like the nudge distance. So that's one way to get rid of those white. Especially, I think this particular one is a... Well, it's, it's an RGB color, I think. But it's not really. Let's, 
No, it's not an RGB color. I don't even know what color that is. But it might possibly be in gray. And you've already, look at that. I didn't notice that. You've already got your text done. So it's even a better one than mine. It's not perfect, but that's exactly what you did. So that's one way to clean that up. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.